Welcome back to another VideoPad video editor tutorial with easy to follow step by step instructions. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm going to demonstrate how to add fun animated transparent GIFs, also pronounced GIFs, to your video. I am using VideoPad video editor version 7.51. The first thing you'll need to do is download some automated transparent GIFs that you wish to use. I have provided links to some sites in the description below. I have no affiliation with any of these sites and am not making any money from them. As of this recording, the sites were free and did not require any registration. I've loaded my video onto my timeline and now I want to add some transparent animated GIFs. And we do that like we add all files. We click on Add Files and you find them in your computer, where you put them on your computer. Now, I am going to choose uh, about five of the what are supposedly animated GIFs, and I'm going to click on Open here. And what I want you to notice is some of them have appeared here under Video Files, and if they appear in the Video Files, that means they are animated GIFs. Some of them show up in the images file. For some reason, some of the animated GIFs that you will download, VideoPad does not seem to be able to render them as animated images. And just work with it, and rather than getting frustrated and try and fix it, I suggest you just go back and download another file that does work. So these are transparent GIFs and we can add them onto our timeline and they will be transparent, but they are not going to be animated. We are going to work with these animated ones. And since I have some plants here, let's add this B animated line GIF. And basically, you know, you put your timeline cursor, red timeline cursor, wherever you want to add your an animated GIF, your transparent animated GIF. And you can just right click on it and choose overlay on sequence at cursor. And we're going to go back and, oh, by the way, it does need to process. And because it's an animated GIF, it takes a few seconds to process this GIF. And again, it depends on your hardware as to how fast or how slowly it's going to process. Now it's fully processed. The bar has turned this light blue or light gray color. And I am in sequence preview and let's take a look at our animated GIF. Cool, but it's way too big. We can fix that. Not only can we make it smaller, but we could change the position. We are going to resize it and reposition it. Now, the way to do it is you make sure that your red timeline cursor is over the image in your timeline here and you will see that you can now edit it. We have three points. We have a base point and this is the central point upon which it moves. Rotating, I can rotate it if I wanted to make it at a different angle. And this one right here is the scaling. The first thing I'm going to do is make it a little bit smaller. And you've got to do this kind of nice and slowly. This All this is going to be very, very delicate and do this really nice and slowly. Okay, since this is a little B, we're going to make them that small, about 50%, 48.45%. Now, to move him around, I'm going to click on the base point and I'm going to move him kind of over here. And we're done. Let's go back to the beginning. Oh, excuse me. Once again, it must process. Every time you move it and resize it, VideoPad must process this animated GIF. Now you can continue on, but you might get some lagging. So it's not a bad idea to let it process and then continue on. And there's our bee hovering over our plants. You know, it's still a little large. I want to make it a little, a little smaller. So once again, I'm going to bring the red timeline cursor over the image in the video track. 
and I am going to go to the scale rectangle and I am going to scale it down a little bit more. There we go. That looks like a good scale size. And let's rotate him a little bit. There, okay, there's our bee. Fun. Now, let's say you want to make that a little bit longer. Remember, you can reduce the duration of a video or animated transparent GIF, but you cannot make them longer. However, what you can do is once you have edited, that is once you have changed the size and the position of it, you can copy it. I just right clicked and I'm going to choose copy. Now I'm going to move my red timeline cursor right to the end of it. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose paste overlay. Be sure you do overlay. Okay, now often VideoPad will put this in a separate video track. You can leave it in there if you want, or you could bring it back into your other video track. I kind of don't like having a whole bunch of video tracks. It just kind of annoys me. Okay, so we did it once, and now I'm going to right-click again. I'm going to choose Paste Overlay. And again, it pops to the top. I'm just going to bring it down. Okay, so now we have the B three times. Fun. Now, if I want, I could kind of change the position of each one a little bit so he's kind of looks like he's moving around. So I'm just going to choose the base point, and I'm just going to move this guy just a little bit. Now I'm going to go to the last instant, and once again, uh, I just click one time down here to activate it, and I'm going to move, move my base point a little bit over. So it gives a little bit more appearance that he's kind of fluttering around. Let's take a look. There you have it. Enjoy adding animated transparent GIFs to your videos. See you next time, folks. Like and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other video pad tutorials from the tech playlist in the description below.